Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on delay in D flip flops. Now we are going to see how we can use a digital oscilloscope to measure delay in D flip flop. I'm going to take one of these probes. I'm connecting two wires to the end of the probes. So this red wire here, I'm going to connect it to the clock. As we know, clock is the third pin of the chip 4013. So I'm going to connect this to the third pin. And this black probe, I'm going to connect it to the ground. And I'll take another probe. And now the black, I'll connect it to the ground. And the red, I'm going to connect it to the output of the D flip-flop which is Q. We can do that by connecting this to the first pin of 4013 which is Q. Now the first probe that I have connected I need to connect it to channel 1 and the second probe that I have connected need to go to channel 2. Now I have connected clock to channel 1 and output of the D flip flop to channel 2. Now press this auto set button. When I press the auto set button I get something like this. Now adjust this vertical section volts per division. As you adjust make sure to see here we should get 2 volts. So I'm adjusting this. Now I, it shows two volts. Now do the same for channel two. Now as you can see, this shows two volts. Now adjust this seconds per division until it shows 250 nanoseconds. Now channel one, two volts, channel two, two volts and time per division is 250 nanoseconds. The next step is press this trigger menu. Once you press this trigger menu you will get a small arrow like this which you can adjust by changing this level. Make sure that the small arrow is slightly above your channel 1. As you can see here this is channel 1 the arrow is slightly above channel 1. Now have a look at this menu here. Edge, this should be in edge. Here rising edge, we can change this by pressing this button falling edge, rising edge. So make sure to keep it at the rising edge and the source is channel 1 and mode needs to be initially in auto and then the coupling needs to be set to DC. Once this is done, we are going to do something on the basis board. Now in the basis board, make sure the switch 0 is turned off and switch 7 is turned off. I'll move the switch 7 up and down few times and then set it off and then put switch 0 up. Now you can see switch 0 is up and switch 7 is down. Now we need to do something in the oscilloscope. Now on the oscilloscope change the mode from auto to single by pressing this button. Now I set this to single. After setting the mode on the oscilloscope to sing single we are going to raise this clock button. As we raise this clock button, we need to look at the oscilloscope. As I rise from low to high, you can see this. Now we can use the cursor, press the cursor, we can use the cursor to move between these two like this is clock. As you can notice, after clock has gone from 
0 to 1, there is a small delay for the output Q to go from 0 to 1. So this is the delay which we wanted to measure. So I keep this position at the middle of the rise of clock and I keep this at the middle of the rise of the output and as you can see the delta is the time difference which is 210 nanoseconds for here. And in your experiment this need not turn out to be 210 nanoseconds, it can be a different number. After measuring the Q output going from low to high, now we are going to measure the delay between clock and Q going from high to low. To do that, turn off the input, set the input to 0 and put the clock also to 0. Now as you can see the output is still on. Now when I push clock up, the output will go from 1 to 0. That's what we are going to measure. Here I press the trigger again and change this from single to auto. Now I go back to the previous position. Now again I will make sure that channel 2 is here and the channel 1 is here and my trigger level is slightly above channel 1. When all this is set, change this from auto to single and then raise your clock. As you can see, clock is rising and the output is falling from Q equal to 1 to Q equal to 0. So to measure this again, press cursor and move the cursor to the middle of the rising of clock and to the middle of the falling of Q and you can measure the delta as 280 nanosecond. Again in my experiment with this chip it, this turns out to be 280 nanosecond. In your experiment this can be some other number. Thank you for watching the video. Good luck.